hey coders welcome to this part of the video in this part i will explain the code structure and the basic code that we are going to use the code shown in this video is available on my github and the link is in the description you can download the code from this button i have already downloaded the code and saved it on my local disk and open the folder with visual studio code so the first step you need to do is install the required packages and we will do with npm install and we will provide the flag save let me clear the screen the entry point for this code is under source index file this index file is a express web app and here we provide the port here the routes and at this point we start the server second we have routes we have two routes one is home route this home route is to just make sure the application is running and second dialog flow route so any dialog flow request will come here we have imported the controller here so based on the tag we are passing in dialog flow we will navigate to that controller and generate the response for the request and send it back so when we go to controller we have three files one this is the controller sample controller which will handle the request we have utilities utility has a method called format response for dialog flow and this will format the response i will show you the response structure as well and the third file is just an export file for all other controller file so let me start the project i will use node mon you can install the node mon with g flag on your global npm packages and you can you know uh, invoke node mon anywhere from your terminal so i will start that so you can see the server is started there is one more thing we will need is ng rock since this server is running on our local host dialog flow will not be able to send request on our local host we need to expose our local host to internet with some tunneling tool and we are going to use ng rock you can install ng rock for your desired system once you install it what you can do is that invoke ng rock with this command ng rock http and the port number make sure the port number is the same used in this index.js file so i'll run this so now our local server and ng rock both are running let's move to the next section where we connect this webhook to dialog flow agent see you in the next part of the video